Welcome back to Sleepy Scriptures, where you can relax or fall asleep while journeying through the King James Bible. Today, I'll read the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14. I'll read Psalm 61, and we'll continue the book of Joshua with chapters 11 through 16. Note that starting with today's episode, new weekly Sleepy Scriptures episodes will be available every Tuesday. Now, get comfortable, put aside your cares of today and your thoughts of tomorrow, and be transported into the safe and gentle space that is episode 58 of Sleepy Scriptures. God bless. The Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 14 And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews, and so spake that a great multitude both of the Jews and also of the Greeks believed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected against the brethren. Long time therefore abode they speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. But the multitude of the city was divided, and part held with the Jews, and part with the apostles. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles and also of the Jews with their rulers, to use them despitefully and to stone them. They were aware of it and fled unto Lystra and Derb, cities of Lyconia, and unto the region that lieth round about. And there they preached the gospel. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. The same heard Paul speak, who, steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leapt and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying, in the speech of Lyconia, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, and Paul Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands onto the gates, and would have done sacrifice with the people, which When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, crying out, and saying, Sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men of like passions with you, and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein, who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness, in that he did good, and gave us rain from heaven, and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these sayings scarce restrained they the people, that they had not done sacrifice unto them. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and, having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Albeit, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derb. And when they had preached the gospel to that city, 
and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord, on whom they believed. And after they had passed throughout Pisidia, they came to Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Italia, and thence sailed to Antioch, from whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come, and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. And there they abode a long time with the disciples. Psalm number 61 Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Selah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows, thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life, and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God for ever. O prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name for ever that I may daily perform my vows. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 11 And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Madon, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshap, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Chinaroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mitzpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Merom, to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt huff their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came and all the people of war with him against them by the waters of Merom suddenly, and they fell upon them, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto Misraphath Maim, and unto the valley of Mitzpah eastward, and they smote them until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He huffed their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, 
and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe. And he burned Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities and the cattle the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves, but every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon, and all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon, all other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favour, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Achims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses, and Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes, and the land rested from war. Joshua chapter 12 Now these are the kings of the land, which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land, on the other side Jordan toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Eroa, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Chinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshimoth, and from the south under Ashdoth Piscah, and the coast of Og, king of Pishon, which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Adrei, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salka, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites, and the Machathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. 
Them did Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan from the west, from Balgad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lashish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Debir, one. The king of Geder, one. The king of Homa, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hepha, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasheron, one. The king of Madon, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron Meron, one. The king of Ashaph, one. The king of Anak, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kadesh, one. The king of Jachnium of Carmel, one. The king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one. The king of the nations of Gilgal, one. The king of Tirzah, one. All the kings, thirty and one. Joshua chapter 13 Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshuri, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron, northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashtathites, the Eshkalonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mira that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Gibbalites, and all Lebanon toward the sun rising from Balgad, under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Misrathoth Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them, from Aroah that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon. 
and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon. And Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites, and the Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, unto Salka. All the kingdom of Og, in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Adrei, who remained of the remnants of the giants, for these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Machathites, but the Geshurites and the Machathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroa that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba. Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon and Bamoth Baal and Beth Baal Meon, and Jehazah and Keremoth and Mephath and Kerjathaim and Sibma and Zerath Shaha in the mount of the valley and Beth Peor and Ashtoth Pisgah and Beth Jeshemoth and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Zihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam, also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities, and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Aroah, that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramath Mitzpah, and Betonim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side, Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad, after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, threescore cities, and half Gilead, and Atroth, and Adrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir, by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side, Jordan, by Jericho, eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance, the Lord God of Israel, was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Joshua chapter 14 
and these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to a spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses sware on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's for ever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15 This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast and their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side, to Mala Akrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. 
and their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Ogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Araba, and the border went up to the stone of Boham, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is, before the going up to Adumim, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of En Shemesh, and the goings out thereof, were at En Rogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants, northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Bala, which is kerdath Jerim. And the border compassed from Bala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chesalon, on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof, this is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Achiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kerjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa, my daughter, to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter, to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom, southward, were Kabzeel and Dida and Jagur, and Kina and Dimona and Adada, and Kadesh and Hazor and Ithnan, Ziph and Telem, and Beoloth, and Hazor, Adata, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam, and Shema, and Molada, and Hazar Gada, and Heshmon, and Beth Palat, and Hazar Shual, and Beersheba, and Bizjothja, Bala and Lim and Azem, and Eltolad and Chisil and Homer, and Ziklag and Madmana and Sansana 
and Lebaoth and Shilim and Ain and Rimom. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtel and Zuria and Ashna and Zanoa and Enganim, Tapua and Enam, Jarmuth and Adulam, Soka and Azekah, and Shiraim and Adathaim, and Gedara and Gedarothaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zinam and Hadasha and Migdalgad and Dilian and Mitzpah and Jokthil, Lachish and Bozkath and Eglon and Kabon and Laman and Kithlish and Gedaroth, Beth Dagon and Nama and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna and Ether and Dashan and Jifta and Ashna and Nezib and Kela and Akzib and Marasha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamir and Jatir, and Soka, and Dana, and Kirjathsana, which is Debir, and Anab, and Deshtama, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Janum, and Beth Tapua, and Afeka, and Humta, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Jutta, and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Alhul, Bethzur, and Gidor, and Marath, and Beth Anoth, and Eltacon, six cities with their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jirim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Beth Araba, Midin, and Sekaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Joshua chapter 16 and the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel and goeth out from Bethel to Luz and passeth along unto the borders of Archai to Ataroth and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhleti unto the coast of Beth Horon, the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance, and the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Adar, unto Beth Horon, the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michmethah on the north side, and the border went about eastward unto Tanath Shiloh, 
and it passed by it on the east to Genoha. And it went down from Genoha to Ataroth and to Narath and came to Jericho and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt at Giza, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. <laughs>